Hold up, man. I gotta do this real quick. This shit is, this shit is like breaking news for real. Like, this your boy Sway. And when I do anything, I'm doing straight off the facts, not how I feel. And if I say how I feel, I'm gonna tell you that's how I feel. That's my opinion. But if anybody is familiar with Pennywise TV, I mean. Ticket DVD, I mean, Ticket TV. The lion guy with the big ass hat on and the funny looking face. Yeah, that guy. Um, This dude just was live, right? And somebody hit me and told me, was like, you got to listen to the shit these niggas say. And when I went on there, I caught this these motherfuckers saying the NBA is rigged if Kawhi Leonard lose tonight. And then they went even further and said the NBA is rigged for LeBron to win if Kawhi Leonard doesn't get a ring. So if Kawhi Leonard don't make it to the finals and win, it's rigged according to them. And he has... A whole lot of people following him that believes the same thing. They don't have their own mind. Bunch of clowns. Okay. What the fuck sense does that make? Look at me, nigga. Does it make sense to say some dumbass shit like that? If Kawhi loses, the NBA is rigged? What the fuck? It had to be a joke. And I thought it was a joke when I first heard it. Because he hate on LeBron all day. Like, that's, that ain't not normal. That's what he do. He made a whole living off talking bad about LeBron. Like, if you go check out his channel, 97% of the videos is about LeBron every day. He could have a title saying Kawhi or Giannis or James Hart. And somehow they talk about LeBron before the night over. Before the video ends, LeBron is in there somehow. Like. That's the definition of a bronze sexual. Anyone who's that obsessed with that man. You worried about not only what's going on on the court. What he does in his personal life. The tacos he eat. The clothes he wear. The toilet paper he used to take a shit and how he take a shit. You see the way that nigga walk. Look at his body. He literally said. He think people is obsessed with his body. Like, who the fuck is worried about this nigga body? We just watching a game. Who the fuck look at... That told me a lot right there. Bro, you obsessed with this man. You staring at this nigga body? You staring at this nigga body, bro? I know bitches who watch the game and ain't even paying attention to that nigga body. They watching the fucking game. You type nigga be watching wrestling and like when the motherfuckers come out there with them boxes that they, they, they drawers on. They got them speedos and all oiled up and shit. That type shit them niggas on over there. But I had to, br I just had to say this shit, man, because it crossed the line with that one. Like you niggas is too obsessed with this one person. It's over 200 something players in the NBA. Why the fuck every night y'all talking about LeBron? This shit is ill. Ill. I know LeBron, diehard LeBron fans that don't talk about this man that much. Like, people got so much more going on in their life. It's crazy. And if you call him out and say something to him about that shit and prove him wrong about something, he's going to block you. You got your own mind, you're getting blocked. So, when you run into one of them uh, uh, Pennywise DVD, uh, Ticket DVD, uh, Ticket TV, uh, fans, viewers, just know, they're a bunch of dumbasses, they don't have a brain, and whatever you say, if it makes a thousand percent, if it makes a sense on a thousand percent, <laughs> they won't, it won't register with them, their IQ is so fucking low that if it was any lower, they'd be fucking dead. I just had to get that out, man. These niggas is crazy. Like, 
And then they got this old dude on there. Oh my god. What's his name? Lames. I mean, James. Flames. Whatever the fuck his name is. Some old nigga all the way talking. I got it. His, his voice like that. Crazy motherfucker. But his voice like that. And he he said the NBA killed Jordan Father. Michael Jordan. They killed Michael Jordan Father because he retired. And the thing is, they people asked him, they said, well, does Michael Jordan know that they killed his father? He said, no. They don't know that he killed, he don't know who killed his father. And I sat there and I thought for a second, like, damn, he don't know who killed his father? But the NBA killed his father? He don't know who killed his father? Then how the fuck do you know who killed his father and you a nobody? You ain't in the NBA. You ain't getting money. You ain't a celebrity. You ain't out in Hollywood. You ain't in a circle. You ain't none of that shit. You ain't this Illuminati shit you be talking about also. You ain't even part of the Illuminati. So how the fuck do you know who killed his motherfucking father, but he don't even know who killed his father? <laughs> ah, you niggas is fucking clowns. It's crazy. You niggas is fucking clowns, bro. And this is every day with these niggas. Every fucking day. I think it's jealousy. He made his career didn't pan out the way yours did. But everybody ain't got it, bro. Some people, they got the skills. They got the gift. Some people just G League rejects. You can't even get in the CBA, my nigga. Don't take it out on everybody else. Get your money and keep moving. You made a living off LeBron. I ain't mad at you. Do your thing. But God damn, bro. Some of the shit you be saying is just... Come on, bro. You finish school? You got education? It don't look like it. You so obsessed with this man. It's like... You asked this nigga for an autograph or his jersey or something, and he said no, or you was in a hotel room waiting to get hit or something, and shit ain't paying out you thought it was going to pan out. Like, you too obsessed with this nigga. You, you acting like a bitch the way they act when they get cut off by a nigga. <laughs> but I just had to say that, man. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, it's every day with these niggas. Like, how the fuck you going to say if Kawhi loses... The NBA is rigged for LeBron. LeBron been a face of the NBA over a decade. The man lost six finals. How the fuck is the NBA rigged for him to win when he lost six finals? That means he won nine finals if that was the case, or at least eight. Didn't think about that now, did you, buddy? I don't think you did. It's obvious. <laughs> so, now if Kawhi Leonard lose tonight, they're going to say, they was right. It's really for LeBron. And then he said, if he don't get a ring. So even if another team beats him, it's still rigged for LeBron. If Kawhi Leonard don't, don't win. And I've been a Laker fan before uh, 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 we got Kobe and Shaq. Before them niggas even got here. This, this, this nigga called himself a Laker fan. He got on the Clippers hat. He's a LeBron hater. Now, there's a lot of Kobe fans like him that turned into Clippers fans. Did y'all just hear that? It's a lot of Kobe fans that turned into Clippers fans. How disrespectful is that? How the fuck you a Kobe fan and you a Clipper fan now? You supposed to be this diehard Kobe fan, but y'all Clippers fans now? Is you fucking serious? That's some clown shit. Right there should tell you what type of clown him and his followers are. Fuck you go from, I'm a Kobe fan and I'm a Clipper fan. Nigga, Kobe fans is Lakers fans. The fuck is you talking about? Kobe fans are Lakers fans and Jeannie Buss said it. Them type of fans are not really Laker fans. So now that you're a Clipper fan... You keep your ass over there. When y'all go home tonight, you take your ass to sleep. As soon as the game over, you take your bitch ass to sleep. Fuck is you talking about? 